buttons on my shirt are held by strands of what was once called string. Had we eaten? When was the last time we saw our parents, exactly? A land with the tenuous conception of rules, crouching behind old cars and dirty bushes. This is a time of transition and a space of uncertainty. We're at a quinceanera. Yeah. <laughs> Before we questioned the traditions of our parents with woker theories, we were those little kids running around parking lots, playing tag, breathless. Pink cascading dresses of outs that took too long to plan. We were the kids stealing balloons, playing in the hallways. The horchata colored moon yeah. lit up the asphalt we were gliding over. How exactly did we keep running when cement lined our throats and we struggled to stand? You know, I think about these nights, I think about those nights that our lives depended on us running a little bit faster for a little bit longer. I remember scuffing the shiny dress shoes my mom bought me the week before. This is unsupervised and sacred. This is breathless. Mariachi songs match the rapid steps we take down the church's parking lot. This is my sister's quinceanera. Galones de Jamaica and pastel pink manteles. The saludos my parents gave family members. This all tastes like childhood. And as a kid, I don't think I ever really felt happy, or I don't remember feeling happy. All I remember about these memories is that, I, is that I was breathless. And now I try to fetch these breathless memories whenever I feel shitty, when I feel like the earth is spinning the wrong way, the hours don't change, but the seasons dissolve with every other breath. I write about things that cover my soul like little warm sweaters. <laughs> Someone recently told me to write lists of things that it reminded me of home, and I try. The noise the wooden floors make under my mom's feet. I love the way chilaquiles can be served in any texture and still taste fucking amazing. <laughs> I hated how long rosarios were, especially when we had a resalda luminosa. <laughs> and I'm happiest watching novelas next to my mom on Thursday nights. I know I'm happiest eating Taco Bell with people that really appreciate that shit. <laughs> and I know now that when I experience really good things, I'm not gonna label them happy, but instead, breathless. I will seek this breathlessness. She also tells me to write down things of warmth, and I know it's so hard to find a home 3,000 miles away from family. But I feel most at home with y'all, with these memories, I feel most at home with the people who know what birria tastes like at bodas. I feel most at home with the people who know what it feels like to sit in Otay in the middle of the summer. I love these people with beautiful souls who would wear suns as earrings and who walk around with oceans of love pouring out of their mouths and ears. I knew I was home when I was offered Taco Bell at midnight. Yeah. I knew I was home when I could cry with you, when I could be sad with you. I think of you and I want to run. Run and collect sunflowers and elotes and gorgeous seashells. I want to give these all to you. You call yourself community, but I really, I really just want to call you home. <laughs>